Hi class, my name is Stephanie Lopez and I'm going to be talking about how to administer um, naloxone, also known as Narcan. Um, you're probably thinking to yourself, why would I need to do this? Um, why would I have access? I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, and that's a very good question. So in California, and specifically in our community, there is an opioid epidemic. So much so that the government issued a what is called a standing naloxone order. This is an order that gives public access to Narcan um, without a prescription, without having insurance. So anyone like you or me can access me this medication and carry it on your person without fear of having any repercussions. So what Narcan is, is the reversal agent for opioids. So anyone who is experiencing an opioid crisis um, can have this crisis actually reversed by a person, another person administering Narcan to them. So um, before administering the Narcan, you're going to want to know what to look for um, and rec how to recognize an opioid crisis. So an opioid crisis can occur in someone who is struggling with substance abuse, who has intentionally or accidentally ingested an opioid. Um, not only can it happen, you know, purposely to someone who is struggling with addiction, but it can also happen to um, individuals who are using opioids for pain management. Um, it is very possible for someone who is using opioids for pain management to experience a opioid crisis on accident. They might accidentally, you know, take too many of their medications and not remember that they have taken one. Um, so things you're going to want to look for for an, an opioid crisis is a person has shallow breathing or is not breathing. Um, their lips may be turning blue. They may be but they may be unresponsive um, or coming in and out of responsiveness. You know, one minute they're talking to you, the next minute they're not, and then they are again. Um, another thing to look for is um, looking at that person's eyes. Their pupils will be very, very small. So whether their eyes are open or you have to manually kind of open them to assess this, um, you're gonna look for the pinpoint pupils. So after that, if you, and you've identified that this possibly may be an opioid um, overdose, you're going to want to first call 911 and then access your um, Narcan. So the Narcan looks just like this. So those of you who have used um, nasal sprays such as Flonase, um, it's very similar to this. Um, it is a nasal spray. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get this person flat on their back anyhow, any way you can. You're going to get them flat on their back you're going to open up your Narcan, you're going to stick the Narcan in the nostril, and you're going to push the red plunger. And it's going to be one spray per nostril. After you have done this, you are going to lay this person in what is called the recovery position. Um, I'm going to use Sonic here. So it's going to be on their side, one leg over the other, just like so. And you can actually repeat the Narcan um, within two to three minutes if you need to administer more, if the person doesn't seem like they're recovering. Um, if the person is not breathing after administering the Narcan, you would essentially start CPR if you know how to do so. So that is how you safely administer Narcan. Um, for those of you who would like to access Narcan to carry um, yourself, you can go to Next Distro. Dot org. It's next, N-E-X-T, distro, D-I-S-T-R-O, dot org. Um, and there is actually a form you can fill out to have it mailed to you for free. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.